There is a fifth dimension beyond that which is known to man. This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call the twilight zone. Ready? Check your mic. Check, check, check. One, two, one, two. I have no All idea right. what we're doing. Okay, perfect. Hello and welcome to a special edition of the Twilight Highlight Zone. My name is Ben Hansen, and uh, we just got done recording the last episode, which was covering the very last episode of season five. Yes. And I said, Cork, let's do a bonus episode, which is something with an idea that we talked about doing once, and I think you forgot about doing. I have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> here's here's the plan. This could be a complete disaster. Okay. Let's run down every episode of the Twilight Zone and see which ones we don't remember. Oh, all. like you're just going to name the title? I'm just going to go from the very we're beginning. We're just going to go what this one is about? We either say yes or no whether or not we remember it. That's all? Yeah, I think so. Otherwise, it'll turn into a four-hour episode. What if we do a sentence? On okay. Because we just say yes or no. Sure. That's not interesting. So we just alternate? Okay. Let's just see how much we remember. Okay. We'll okay. Let's just, let's just get into it. Season one. Yes. Opens up. Where, Where is, is everybody? everybody? Yep. Remember it well. Yep. Guy, glass case, phone booth. It's a test. Got it. One for the angels. Yeah. That guy's going to make his final sales pitch. To Correct. The- Mr. Denton on Doomsday. That's the one where he has... Do you remember it? You go. Do you remember it though? Let's, yeah, we, the title, yeah, 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 yeah. But if I had to say, if I had to quiz you and say, what's it about? Do you, do you, do you remember? Mr. Denton on Doomsday is the one with the sheriff and the elixir, right? Yes, correct, correct. 16 millimeter shrine, we can't forget. That's the lady. The actress, tiger, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the actress goes into the film. <laughs> yep, big Walking time. distance, of course. Yeah. No question. Carousel. Escape clause. Escape clause. Do you remember? <sighs> is this. The one where the guy is selling his soul, the hypochondriac, right? Yes, yes. It is exactly that. Wow. Well done, Cork. I did not remember that episode yeah. in the least. Yeah. And then he goes to the prison at the yep. end of what he's immortal, but electric chair. Okay. The lonely. Lonely, of course. Her, it's also in his face off. That's right. I didn't remember that was that early, but that's one on the asteroid with the robot lady. Yes. Uh, time enough at last, of course. Glass is broken. Perchance to dream. Perchance to Dream. Uh, I think Perchance to Dream is the Maya the Cat Girl episode. Is it? I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And that's he jumps out the window. That's right. Judgment Night. Judgment Night. That's the... Oh, that's the one with on the ship where they're stuck in that loop forever, where they blow themselves yes, up. Yes, the submarine. The yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, when the sky was opened. When the sky was open. What you need. What you need. That's the guy who sells the shoes that are slippery to the guy. That's right. Four of us are dying. Four of us are dying. That's the shapeshifter. Shapeshifter. Yep. Yeah. Uh, third from the sun. Hey, it's getting real hot in here. No, this no, is no, that's no, the no, one no. where the people are escaping, and then you learn that they're escaping to Earth. Right. Right. I shot an arrow into the air. I'm so thirsty. Yep. So thirsty, and they end up beating each other, and then it's the telephone poles. Yep. Uh, the hitchhiker. It's about a hitchhiker. It's, and. It's death. Good job. Uh, the fever. I don't recall the fever. Man, I've got Twilight Zone fever, Simon. <laughs> Simon? <laughs> okay, but we know the fever. Yeah. I'm thinking Uncle Simon. We could also call him Franklin. Oh, okay, sure. That all... I got these No names. one's ever done I'll that. I tried to do speed round. Hey, speed round, baby. Speed round. All right, Free last flight. What? The last flight. The last flight. Is that... No, that's not the one where they go back in time. To the no, that's Odyssey age. of Flight 33. No. Um, uh, the last flight is... Oh, that's the World War One pilot that lands. Oh. Remember? In, in, yeah, and then they have to debate what actually happened. Yeah, it turns out that he's a guy, coward. Like, he's wearing like the, the Jodhapur right. director pants. Right, 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 right. Okay, I'm glad we both kind of forgot that. Purple yeah. Testament? Purple Testament. Oh, yeah. That's, you see the people who are going to die, that weird reflection. And you're just looking at the episode titles, right? Yeah. yeah you're yeah, not yeah, looking sure. up... Nope, I'm, I'm not clicking through for descriptions. Okay. Um, and then Elegy. Elegy is like prison, a spooky death planet. Yep, funeral planet. Uh, mirror Image. Mirror Image, of course, the uh, bus station. Oh, my God, I didn't remember that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you're totally right, the bus station. And then station the guy thing. running away from himself yep. as he looks at <laughs> so himself stupid. maniacally. Yep, Monsters are due on Maple Street. It's electricity, man. Yep, we got Flip that. the switch. A world of difference. A world of difference. Oh, brother. Um, I, I got this. World of difference. This is the one where the actor comes out of the movie. I remember I like this one. I gave it an eight. It's 
Yeah, it's the one where he's his. He oh, so like it starts out and then it pulls out and you realize that he is inside or like the, oh, somebody his else life cut. is a play. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. and he's very confused and his yep. wife is leaving him and all this yes. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay, long live Walter Jameson. Yes, he turns into dust. Yep, people are like all over. Hey, this is a I'm in a prison planet zoo. <laughs> planet zoo. <laughs> uh, execution. Execution. Is this the is this magic the... is for love? <laughs> magic is for love. Is that execution? Execution. That sounds. That sounds right, doesn't it? It has to be that. Let's see. I'll look it up here. Uh, the plot is Ooh. yes. Okay. Oh no 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 no! This Wait. is. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Is this the time traveler? Oh, with a yes. Oh, okay, where the guy has the time machine. Yes. And he goes is... back and strangles. There's just like the most ridiculous fight scene. Yep. Where the guy yep. looks like he is dying. Right, right. He gets flipped over a table and one stuff. One of us is dying. Yeah, I forgot about that one completely. Yes. Okay, wow. Execution. Uh, Big Tall Wish. That's Big one Tall of the Wish. Black actors the and the boxer. Yep. Yes. Nice place to visit. A nice place to visit. It's about hell? Yeah. Everything's going coming up that guy, and then you realize that this is the other place. That's right. That's right. Nightmare as a child. Nightmare as a child, little girl, staircase. the notorious staircase. <laughs> yeah, yes. the, the little girl thing. Stop at Willoughby. That's the one that's like, uh, you remember it? Stop at Willoughby. Uh, oh, is it the one the guy has the idealized childhood? And yeah. It's, he, I don't know about childhood. He's like, oh, he's got that fantasy, and then he's about the, the town of Willoughby, and then he, yeah, he jumps off at the end and kills yes. himself. Yeah. Uh, the Chaser. Uh, the Chaser. Is this disappointing that we don't remember these better? No, this is. I think we're doing pretty well. All right, Chaser, I got that's that's the love potion one where he goes and buys that love potion. Oh, and she just with totally dotes on him, and yep, it's just yep. too much. Uh, passage for trumpet. Oh, brother! That's <laughs> a Jack Klugman, <laughs> yeah, and Gabriel, and all that. Shit. Yeah, uh, Mr. Beavis, Mr. V, Mr. Beavis. He's the he he likes zither music. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. We got it. Uh, the After Hours. I didn't remember that was season one. That seems later. We're still in season one. Yeah. Holy shit. Still the season thimble. One. Yep. Yep. Uh, all right. We got that. And then The Mighty Casey. Also season one. That's that robot. Yeah. Baseball player. Yeah. Uh, a world of his own. A world of his own. A world of his own. You got this one? Well, it shouldn't jog your memory. It's the very end of season one. Remember? Oh my gosh. This is the the Rod Serling yep. pops up. It's about the writer. Yep. Yep. It's and about he, the writer the whole there's time. There's an elephant. Correct. And there's an elephant. A red eyed elephant. Yeah. I explained thoroughly. All right. Season two King yes. Nine will not return. King Nine will not return. It's the guy with sanded issues. Correct. <laughs> this is a weird quiz show. <laughs> the man in the bottle. Man in the bottle. I'm Hitler. Man in the bottle. I'm Hitler. <laughs> uh, nervous man in a $4 room. Uh, that's the guy who confronts himself in the spinning mirror. Yep. Spinning mirror is a very key point. Yep. Think about machines. Think about machines is the slithering shaver down the steps. Yep. <laughs> man, I didn't remember this being so early in season two either. The howling man. Oh my God. That tiny little shepherd's <laughs> crook to, that holds the closet door shut. Perfect. The eye of the beholder. Oh, she's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Nick of time. Uh, Nick of Time. Which one? Is, oh, that's the pr- future William Shatner yep, yep. Uh, fortune teller machine. Perfect. Thing. I love that there's some of these that we've referenced so many times and others. Like this next one, The Lateness of the Hour. Lateness of the Hour. Do you have any idea what that is? God, that one's really familiar. Lateness of the Hour. I'm looking it up right now because I don't remember this at all. Sensitive daughter of a creative genius. Is distraught over her oh over her parents' reliance on her father's five seemingly perfect robot servants. This is one that was oh, shot God. on tape. Oh God! Go down the stairs. Yeah, and they go down the stairs at the end, and, and she's it turns a robot. Out that she's a robot. Was she a robot the whole time? She was a robot the whole time. Okay, boy, lateness of the hours. Weird name for that episode. Yeah. Trouble with Templeton. Trouble with Templeton. Oh, uh, is that the one? Um, he's cheating on his wife. He, he remember it starts with him talking about taking pills and looking out at his young wife. Oh, and then he's the, he's the old movie star that goes back to the set and they all laugh at him in that weird yeah. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. A most unusual camera. It's a good That's memorable the, one. The, another jump it through a window. Yep. It's the old jump through the through window. window. The night of the meek. <laughs> Santa. <laughs> Santa. <laughs> Santa. <so> stupid. <laughs> Dust. Dust is the one that magic is for love. Oh, okay. Right. Yes, yeah. you're right. Oh boy. 
This one's called Back There. Back There. Oh, is this the... This is the Abraham Lincoln one. Oh, okay. At the Gentleman's Club. It has to be, right? Yeah. yeah. Let's go with that. Not Let's Gentleman's Club, but you know what I'm saying. The Whole Truth. The Whole Truth. That's the car. The haunted... Oh, good job. I was like, yeah, is it a truth serum? I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Car. Stupid car. Uh, the Invaders. Invaders, of we course. We both remember. Oh, boy. Oh, no. A Penny for Your Thoughts. Penny for Your Thoughts. Is that the one where the guy flips the coin at the newspaper box and he's able to read people's minds? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was a quarter, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it could have been. Nickel. And then at the end, it lands straight up. He, like, bumps it. Yeah. He bumps it and then it falls over and the guy's like, eh, what did you do that for? So and he could read people's thoughts? That's what, I guess I don't remember that detail. Yeah. Um, this is just a record of how crappy our memory is. 22. 22. I got it. What is 22? 22 is the morgue. It's the room number for the morgue. Oh, God. That's and right. And then the plane blows room up for at the one end. more yep, kind of thing. Yep, yeah. Yep. Odyssey of Flight 33. That's that the dino plane. Dino plane. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Dingle the Strong. Yep. The blowhard who's able to lift the bench with the lady on it. Yep. Real good stuff. Static. Strange enough, I do remember because it was our worst, of the, uh, worst title or worst episode of season two, I remember. That's the guy who's obsessed with the old-timey radio yep. programs. Yep, yep, yep. The Prime Mover. The Prime Mover. That's the one where the guy with uh, the elevator full of guys with masks nope. look nope. like him. Nope, What? Incorrect. Prime Mover is the one with Jed Clampett, and they can move stuff with their minds. The Jed Clampett move stuff with his... Oh, God. The two guys at the diner at the beginning. Yeah. Yes. Wait, at the diner? Is that... Yeah, and then like some of the mop. There's a car crash. He moves and... the mop at the end. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. And he goes to the casino. Yep. Long distance call. Long distance call. That's the grandma on the phone. Yep. I guess I didn't remember that being season two either. But, all right, cool. Uh, 100 yards over the rim. 100 yards over the rim. I got this. What is it? Do you remember it? Um, spaceship. Nope. What? Starts out Wild West and then it moves into modern day. And they're all confused about how that gun was so old. Oh, and my he, like, God. That's he, season two? Yeah. And he looks in the encyclopedia and yeah. finds his son is going to be a famous scientist. Yes. Doctor. Um, yep. Uh, Rip Friend Winkle Caper. Uh, that's the guys with the plexiglass coffins yep. who are going to rub the Fort Knox or the something. The Silence. The Silence, the guy who takes the bet not yep. to talk for a year. Sure. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Shadow Play? Shadow Play. Okay. Do you remember this? Um, God, I want to say there's a little kid in it. In Shadow Play. All right, I'm looking it up right now. Uh, written by Charles Beaumont. I have no idea. A man convicted of murder tries to convince those about to execute him that the world all around them is his, just his recurring nightmare. Oh. <laughs> okay, I got it. I remember that one. Yeah, and the cast a... keeps changing. Like it reboots because he dies. But then Yeah, he... that's the coolest part. Yes. Yeah, yeah, for yep. sure. This really helps for the Mega Franklins coming up. Yeah. Uh, the Mind and the Matter. That's the... Wait. Oh, Prime Mover. Okay, Mind of the Matter is the one where the guy is in yep. the elevator full of versions of himself. Yep, yep. Will the real Martian please stand up? I think we both remember pretty well. It's the it's Venusian the thing. goggle. Yep. Venusian goggle. Uh, the obsolete man. You oh, that's the... are obsolete. <laughs> yep. <laughs> obsolete. And then weird obsolete. sequence at the end. Or the they big table where they all swarm him. Yeah. I don't remember anything beyond that. I remember them in the room screaming for a while. But what's the He goes thrust? to, uh, in the future, because he likes books. It's Burgess yeah. Meredith. Oh, yeah, 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 sure. All right, moving on to season three, two. Uh, yeah, it's the post-apocalyptic Charles Bronson. And yep, the, yep, the correct. Lady. Uh, correct. The Arrival. The Arrival. Which one is that? I don't know. Right out of the gate, season two, uh, the arrival. Aliens come. Ooh, it's not after Flight expect. 107 from Buffalo lands safely oh, with no crew. They're it trying seems to seems like out. it's going to be a mystery, but then it doesn't make any sense at all. It's mass suggestion. Yes. is that what the solution is? Yeah. Boy, all right. Uh, moving on, we have the shelter. Oh, that's the good one. Yeah, it's a good one that we don't really reference that much. No, no yeah, it's a, kind of another monsters are doing Maple Street yep. type of thing. But uh, passerby, the passersby, the passersby. <laughs> come on Kirk wow this is season three is that yeah oh boy <laughs> passers by what do you got uh, imagine it's a single file line of passers by 
Oh God, is this another that Civil War one? Yep, it's a Civil War one. And he was dead all along. Yep, they turns were dead out, all along. And Abraham Lincoln's bringing up the rear. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! All right, that was Passers By. Uh, next we have. Hang on, I'm all lost. Okay, we have a uh, game of pool. Yep, the guy wants to be like yep. Minnesota studs. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> tough to famous forget. Pool player. Uh, then we have the mirror. The mirror. I got this. All right. Come on. You got I, it. I don't want you to guess, though. I, want, I like seeing you struggle every Ugh, once in a while. The mirror. It's not so much about a mirror. Well, I mean, I guess it is about the mirror, ultimately. But. Oh, this is the, oh, God, the really bad coaster, like the yes. uh, Central American Dictator, dictators. Yep, yes. Yep, yep. The grave. The grave. I'm not yellow, coward. I'm going to stab that, my coat. Yeah, I guess it is. I would have guessed that was like season one or something. Yeah. It was a long time ago. Uh, it's a good life. Don't recall that. No, I'm just joking. Of course, we got that. Uh, Death's Head Revisited. That was a really good joke, by the way. It was really good. Thank you. <laughs> Death's Head Revisited. That's the ship getting... No, I can't believe you forgot this. No, it's the Nazi one. It's the concentration camp. Oh, God. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. The guy who kicks the door right, in right. gleefully. Midnight Sun, otherwise known as the Jeff Marchiafava episode because he always talks He's about it. It's actually getting hotter. Yeah, but it's colder. cooler. Uh, Still Valley. Still Valley is uh, the black magic. Everyone's frozen during the Civil, Civil War. War. Yep, yep. The jungle. The jungle is the... Um, po- he's like running away and he hears jungle sounds. And <laughs> he's drums. running away from jungle sounds. Yeah, and the lion eats him. Yes. Ate his wife as well. Because he has the cursed artifact. That's right. That episode's cool. Uh, Once Upon a Time. Once Upon a Time. Why? What else do I need to say? It's Once Upon a Time. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what Once Upon a Time is. <laughs> Uh, all right, let me click through. What? Richard Matheson wrote it once upon a time. Oh, God. It's what? the Buster Keaton episode. Oh, where he goes, he time travels and it's partially silent and there's a vacuum cleaner. There's <laughs> a bunch a of mummy case. Yep, mummy case gags. Yeah. All right, that was Once Upon a Time. Boy, it's a weird title for that one. Five characters in search of an exit. The, yeah, that guy's a clown doll. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Perfect. Their quali- donation. Yeah. It's a donation box for. This toys. actually works really well. We should just air this right before the Mega Franklins go up as like the big recap. Yeah. All right. Uh, quality of Mercy. Quality of Mercy. Oh, this is the one where the guy is in World War II and he sees things from the other side, doesn't he? Where oh, that's making, right. And like he, he switches the Japanese. races. Yeah. 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 I, I wouldn't remember that one. Yeah. Um, nothing in the dark. Nothing in dark. Uh, it's Mr. Death. Yep. It's old Robert lady is scared of him. Robert Redford. Okay. Uh oh. One more. Oh wait, no. One more pallbearer. I think I got this. One more pallbearer. This is the one where the guy faked yes. the nuclear apocalypse. Yes, and he brought his, people like, down. Teacher from fifth grade or something. <laughs> Expecting them the to most scream. petty man ever. Yep, yep. Uh, and then he gets outside at the end, and it's all in his mind. Yeah, because he loses his mind. He goes out, and you think it's like a fake he, out. You yeah. think that it's actually happening. That's again. right. That's yeah. right. Uh, dead man's shoes. <laughs> yep that's the one where the guy puts the shoes on and suddenly he's like ace or slick or whatever right, the guy's right, name is right, and, right. and they take the shoes at the end the hobo takes it yep the hunt that piece of crap <laughs> you know yeah, you don't like that with one that so dog much. and the dog they... that can smell brimstone ha <laughs> that's right showdown with rance mcgrew showdown that's the hollywood agent yep correct uh we're on episode 86 now by the way just in oh, case wow. you're curious uh kick the can kick the can is just old people old people young yeah. at heart uh piano in the house your favorite episode <laughs> forget piano completely logical explanation <laughs> something of the piano makes people crack or something yes the last rites of jeff myrtle bank oh you'll love that one he's don't a you? demon he can I, I like that one more than you did fingers. yeah he's a demon that's gonna teach congress something <laughs> yeah i forget what exactly what that is uh to serve man of, of course, course. Yep. yeah uh the fugitive the fugitive that's it. the one where uh pedro in mexico right nope what nope Fugitive is with Ben, the alien old guy oh. that comes to Earth with a little girl and he makes himself into that dumb alien. I'm thinking in the of the gift. Yep, yep. This is the fugitive. All right, moving on to Little Girl Lost. That's the one where the girl falls behind the bed. Oh, that's right. Okay. Wow, we were just talking about that and I still yeah. really forgot about it. And the chalk on the wall. Chalk on the wall. Uh, on the wall. Person or persons unknown. Person or persons unknown. I think this is the one where the guy wakes up and he's a different person. 
or like oh it's like a fake like a fake wife and he goes to the psychiatrist and breaks out because yeah. he's committed and yeah that's right we're just everything's a little bit different yes is he different and then he wakes up in the twist that his wife is different the next time around or something so yeah something like that yeah. all right uh the little people the little people that's the guy goes to they go to another planet and they it's like the sims basically but scaled all the way <laughs> sure. up sure there we go uh four o'clock the guy's, get, this is, <laughs> the guy's gonna make the all the evil people shrink at four o'clock and it's him right Fo- uh hocus pocus and frisbee that's the big shit talker yep <laughs> correct they really want him yep the aliens come and get him because he's the greatest they got him uh then the trade-ins the trade-ins, the old people can only afford one new body, so the old guy gets replaced, but then he changes his mind. <laughs> Correct. The gift. That's gift little Pedro, Pedro south of the border. Cancer. The dummy. The dummy, of course. The switch spots dummy, with the dummy at the spots, end. Goofy goggles get goofy. smashed. <laughs> Young man's fancy. Young man's fancy? This isn't that long ago, dude. Young man, I don't know what it is either. Young man's fancy. <laughs> this sounds like a great magazine. <laughs> 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 what is this was like four months ago we were probably talking about this what is young man's fancy um hang on oh boy okay yeah this is the one where the guy brings his wife to his mom's house so that he can sell it oh but gross then he it's does... a super creepy one where like she yeah he turns into a little boy again yeah yeah and then it turns out that he's the real problem here, not the mom. Yes. Something like that. Yeah. Um, I sing the body electric. That's the electric grandmother. It's the electric Brad- funky grandmother. Harry, yeah. Uh, your favorite, Cavender is coming. Cavender is coming. Mr. Beavis Mr. again. Be- yep. Uh, the changing of the guard. Changing of the guard. I got this. Okay. No, I want you to suffer though. Try and think. You want me to suffer? Okay. Yeah. Just I, I like when you try and piece it together. Changing of the guard. Changing of the guard. Which episode's about things... Somebody retiring, and they have to make way for the new. Oh, is this the old guy, the teacher? Yep, yep. It's the, the teacher, teacher and then he, it's, a, it's a wonderful life. Yeah, and then the creepy kids that all oh, died. They're all dead, yeah. Oh, and you made such that. a difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, moving on to season four. Yes. This should be easy. Uh, we have In His Image. In His Image. <laughs> <laughs> um, Cork, we have a podcast about the Twilight Zone. I know. I don't know what you want from me. I don't know. I remember the title or I don't remember the title, Ben Hansen. In His Image. Also, there's no link to click through in Wikipedia for this Oh, God. Is that the episode where they the ship crash lands and then you learn that it's like an Adam and Eve retelling? Nope. Is that the one? Nope. Nope. It's not. Oh, oh, In His Image is... uh, That's the self-improvement robot where the guy's constantly making those new robots... And one of the robots ah. then falls in love with that lady, and they go to that hometown. That's right. He and has like, are a little bit different. Yeah, it's like memory fragments. Right. Yes. Right. Okay. Thirty Fathom Grave. That's the banging on the walls the of bang, the sub- on the ship. Yep. And it's yep. A submarine. Uh, Valley of the Shadow. Valley of the Shadow. Uh, no. There's no link to click through for this one, so we have to suffer it. We have to try and figure out what this could be. Valley of the Shadow. I remember I made that Woody Allen joke. Uh. Valley of the Shadow. Beginning of season four. Would have been our first episode of season four. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm... Valley of the Shadow. Oh, it has to be about a valley, right? <laughs> Not necessarily. I think it is. Because I, I remember being like, oh, there's also still Valley. Mm-hmm. And this one's similar. Remember? But I don't remember what the f, f it was. Valley of the Shadow. Come on, there's another episode. It, don't you remember th- saying that? It's like... Because it has to be like... All right, hang on. Opening up the internet <laughs> to try and figure out what this is. Oh, okay. Oh, boy, this is a horrible name for that episode. It's the one where the reporter comes to the town that's like completely isolated and they have super advanced technology. Oh my God. And he bumps into the, there's like the dog that gets, jumps out of the car and gets zapped by the girl. Yep. Yep. And they can make a ham on rye. Right. Sandwich right. by using the punch cards. Yeah. The gun yep. and all this other stuff. Make the gun. He like opens the drawer and immediately finds the gun. Yep. And the, the book is blank when they the leave. The book is blank. Okay. Valley of the Shadow. Man, that's tough. Yeah. 
Because it's called Peaceful Valley. That's what it is. That's the name of the town. Okay. Uh, he's alive. That's another Hitler episode. Yep. That's the one with, uh, what's his face in yep. it? Yep, correct. What's yep. his face? Good old, uh, he's mute. Mute, that's the people who make the pact to yep. only speak telepathically. Correct. Death Ship. Death Ship. That's the one where the people, the young couple. Nope. This is the one where the... Um, Oh, this is the spaceship one. Yep. That, um The, the, the guy won't let loop. him die. They're in that yep. loop. Believe it got... or not, there's a loop. Ooh, good Franklin category. Best loop. Best loop. Yeah. Don't forget that. Uh, Jess Bell. Jess Bell. It's the the one with the lady who... Um, Jaguar lady. Jaguar lady. Mrs. Jaguar. Yep. Uh, miniature. Miniature, of yep, course. Obviously. Robert Duvall. Yep. Uh, Printer's Devil. Printer's Devil is the devil's Burgess Meredith. Yep. Again, doing stuff with the printer. Weird Makes greasy finger. Uh, no time like the past. No time like the past. Which one's that? No time like the past. Hour long episode. Oh, wait, is this the one where he's trying to stop Hitler? Oh and, yeah, the, like he's and trying. Then he to, eventually goes back. Yeah, he just keeps repeatedly like he's, he's the sniper. But then he's just in the eighteen hundreds. Yeah, he goes back as he likes it there. Right. Right. Yep. I think that has to be it. Yeah. Uh, the parallel. The parallel. This is the one where the guy goes up in the ship and comes down and everything's just a little bit different. Remember? Yep. Yep. And then he eventually goes home and whatnot. Uh, I dream of genie. I dream of genie. Oh, this is the crappy genie episode. Remember where it's all like this fantasy sequence of like, oh, well, what if I wished for this? Because he only yes. gets one wish or something. Yeah. And it never pays off. Yep. Yeah. And then he ends up. I just want to be a he- the genie. Right. Right. Uh, the new exhibit. The new exhibit, that's the Wax Museum yep, one, right? Yep, correct. Of late, I think of Cliffordville. Late, I think of Clifford. Guy gets old. He's so shrewd. Yep. He goes back in time. Goes back in uh, time. Incredible World of, world of Horace Ford. The toy manufacturer. Toy manufacturer. Dude. I'm glad these are getting... Goes back in time. These are getting in there. Uh, on Thursday, we leave for home. On Thursday, we leave for home. Is that the... Hour long. Yeah. This is the one where... Uh, the ship lands and they have their little religious society and he's kind of oh their leader and it yeah, kind of disrupts he doesn't wanna, that and he can't handle the change. He doesn't want to let it go and then the ship leaves him. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, passage on the Lady Anne. That's the one with it's like the young couple yep. on the ship. Oh, death ship. Death ship, yeah. Uh, the Bard. The Bard. Shakespeare tries his hand at television writing. <laughs> right, correct. All right, now we're moving on to season five. This should be super breezy. Hey, real quick. Yeah. Which was the Carol Burnett episode again? Uh, Cavender is coming. Cavender is coming. Yep, we covered that. Okay. Uh, in praise of Pip. In praise of Pip. My kid's name was Pip and I miss him. <laughs> what else happened there? They went back in time and... He, he dies. Yeah, he dies. In the funhouse mirror. Yeah. Uh, Steel, robots, robots boxing, Nightmare 20,000 Feet. Guy on the wing. There we go. Uh, a kind of a stopwatch. Kind of a stopwatch. You click it and it stops time. Correct. Uh, and he doesn't have anybody to talk to. Him. He just wants to talk. Uh, the last night of a jockey... Mickey Rooney's Mickey Rooney an idiot. Just hamming it up. It <laughs> uh, gets so big. Yep. Living doll. Living doll. It's doll wants to kill him. Yep. Old man in the cave. Old, computer in the cave. Computer in the cave. Uncle Simon. Uncle Simon's a robot. We got that. Probe seven over and out. Probe seven over and out. That's the one where the guy is. Uh... Nope. What? Go ahead. Go on. What are you talking about? No, go ahead. Go ahead. Why, why would you immediately say Because you, that? Start, you started to sum this episode up earlier and you started it a different way. But go ahead. Probe seven over and out. I did start. Oh, this is the one where they're um, the Adam and Eve. Yep, right. correct. Uh, what'd you, which one did you think it was? Oh, I, I was thinking it was the the one where the guy, which we'll get to, obviously, the one where the guy um, falls in love with the lady over the course of a month, and then oh, sure, okay, no, no, no. we'll get to that. Uh, oh, it's weird. Probe Seven over and out is right next to the seventh is made up of phantoms. Two seven titles in a row. That's the Civil War buffs that are on National Guard. Not Civil War, but the Custer's. Oh, Custer's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rather, yeah. Right. Uh, short drink from a certain fountain. Uh, which one is that again? That's the baby one. The baby. Oh, keeps, God. The guy just, Yes, yes, yes. Yep. 90 years without slumbering. 90 years without slumbering. <laughs> this is a horrible title for this episode. If you sing it, it might jog a memory. We just covered this like three weeks ago. I know. I was busy. It's tough. <laughs> You're I've been, busy. I've been busy. Yeah. Uh, no, it's the old man on the clock. Oh, God. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Ring-a-ding girl. 
Ring-a-ding girl, the actress who somehow foretold her own death. Right. Old ring-a-ding girl. By looking in a ring. Yep. You drive. You drive is the car. Yep. Does not like to be used as a weapon. <laughs> the long morrow. The long morrow. This is the one you were describing earlier where he goes. Oh, okay. Yeah. The yep. guy who's like. Freezes himself freezes and then himself. the wife And he doesn't. comes back old. Yep. He comes back old. The self-improvement of Salvador Ross. Salvador Ross is a big jerk and he finds out that he can trade anything yep, with anybody. Yep, yep. Number 12 looks just like you. That's one where people in the future trade their bodies. Yep. Black leather jackets. Black, oh my gosh, they're aliens and they're invading. There's no moral. Night call. Night call is, uh, it's coming from the grave. <laughs> yeah. By the way, I just learned that apparently in the short story for Night Call. Yes. Uh, apparently the short story ends when she finds out that the phone line is connected to the grave. Yes. The operator tells her that, yep. which is exactly the way we want it. But then she hangs up with the operator and uh, then the phone rings and she picks it up and she hears the voice and it goes like, I know where you live. I'm coming for you. And then that's the end of the episode. There's none of that relationship. Or not, or that's the end of the story. There's none of that relationship stuff. It's just the idea of like the zombies now coming towards her house. That's oh, it. weird. Would have been a much cooler ending. Star 6 <laughs> Um, let's see where we at. Oh, from Agnes with love. Uh, computer loves you. Yep, spur of the moment. Spur of the moment. It's a the lady on the horse. There we go. An occurrence on Owl Creek Bridge. Uh, got to be a living man. <laughs> <laughs> Queen of the Nile. Queen of the Nile. The scarab's gonna take your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> make you make her young. What's in the box? What's in the box? It's uh, Winnie the Pooh. Actually, yep. there we go. <laughs> the masks. Uh, if you're ugly on the inside. That's all that counts. I am the night. Color me black. Uh, don't hang people. Here we go. Don't give Sound, them to hate. Sounds and silences. Sounds and silences. Uh, maybe don't buy one of those limited edition records because <laughs> then you won't be able to hear it. Caesar and me. Caesar and me. The dummy made me do it. The Jeopardy room. Uh, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Stop over in a quiet town. Stop over a quiet town. Your daddy brought these all from all the way from Earth. There we go. The encounter. The encounter. Uh, God, I know we just talked about this. <laughs> it was literally an hour ago. Um, the encounter is the. Um, <laughs> I'm totally drawing a blank. I know we seriously just talked. The, just talked about it. It's a horrible name. Yeah. Um, oh God, bonsai. Yep, correct. Jeez, I, it's a really not a great name. No, uh, Mr. Garrity in the graves. Mr. Garrity in the graves. Guy's gonna bring back people from the dead. They don't want it. They don't want it. Brain center at Whipple's. Efficiency isn't always great. Progress, brother. Come wander with me. Come wander. I don't know. <laughs> what, I don't think anybody knows what that one is. All it's right. A Floyd the Rockabilly Kid, of course. The fear. The fear. Uh, it's a balloon. There we go. <laughs> and the bewitching pool. Okay, kids, keep holding your breath. <laughs> All right. There we go. That is... It started out just as a test of cork in my knowledge and memory, uh -huh. mainly cork, I guess. Uh, but I hope that's a good refresher for the Mega Franklins coming up. Oh my god! Next week. So, what do you think that we batted all told? I think that was that was better than I expected. Yeah, I felt. Uh, yeah, I feel okay like I. There's a couple episodes that are like, the titles are obviously obscure to be intriguing. Right, right. A world of difference. That oh boy, the encounter, person or persons unknown. Yeah. God, those are tough. So there may be like seven, I forgot. Six or seven. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Yeah. But now it's like a steel trap, baby. Yeah. Now we're going to the finish line. Cavendish is coming. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for tuning in for this uh, weird little bonus episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Tune in next week for the Mega Franklins, where we're going to say the best and worst episodes and a bunch of other fun categories. <laughs> <laughs>